This video is entitled The CSS Grid. It goes along with Chapter 9 of the book So You Want to Learn to Use HTML and CSS by James Emerno, Ph.D. And I'll be taking you through this presentation. In this video, I'm going to cover the CSS Grid. I'm going to cover the star uh, CSS selector. I'm going to apply the grid to an HTML element and its children. We're going to lay out columns in the grid. And we're also going to talk about a new CSS unit called the FR or the fraction. First thing, let's talk about the star selector. I might have mentioned it in another video, but I thought it was a good time to mention it again. The star selector selects everything. So if you put uh, the star in the CSS as your selector, you get everything. Or if you use it in combination with a combinator, you would get all of the children at all levels um, associated with something. So it's often combined with other selectors. So to use the CSS grid, what you need to do is you need to add the style display grid to the element you want to be displayed in this using the CSS grid. And then what we need to do is um, we need to set the grid template columns, grid-template-columns, colon, and we then put dimensions for each of the grid columns that we want to define. All of the direct children will then go into each column all of the direct children of the tag you've applied the display grid to will go in to the various columns automatically. Here you can see an example of a grid template column that has four columns defined. The first column would be 10 pixels. The last column will be 3EM. Um, and then the two columns in the middle are that new unit that I was talking about called the fraction, the FR unit. The second column will be three fractions wide, and the third column will be one fraction wide. Basically, what CSS is going to do is it's going to take the full width of the element or the full possible width of the element. It's going to subtract off all of the non-FRs first. So it's going to take that 10 pixel and chop it off. It's going to take that 3EM and chop it off. And then it's going to say, well, I have this much remaining. It's then going to add up all of the fractions. So there are a total of four fractions. And it's then going to take that space, divide it up into four pieces, and then allocate it to the fractions that have been defined. So there's a mathematical formula here that describes the width of column n. But basically, it finds all of the remaining space after all the other measures are subtracted and divides it up evenly by the number of fractional units. So here's a CSS for an HTML page. I'll show you in just a second, but let's take a look at what I've done here. In the header element, or defining the tag header, I've said, well, display that as grid. Um, and then I say grid template columns, one fraction, 10 EM. So that's saying the header, I want it in two columns. And I want the first column to be all of the space after we take off the second column. So it's going to take the second column and make it 10 EM. And then all the rest of the space will be the first column. Kind of backwards, but that's what it says. It says do the 10 EM first and then give me all the remaining space. Um, I then put a border around the header so you can see where the where the our header star. Notice I say header star, so that says all of the elements within the header. Put a border around them so that you can see, um, so that you can see uh, where where all the where, where the the columns are, where the cells are. And then down in header nav, which would be a a uh, a combined selector, saying the nav within the header. Um, also make it display grid, but it's going to just display one column. Now, why in the world would I want to display one column? Well, stop and think about what that's going to do. If I've got elements that are going to be 
linear that are going to be display in line um, by display grid and creating one column, each of the children are going to be in, in a row. So it's going to display them in one column. So it probably is going to display all the A tags that way. So let's take a look at the HTML. Here we can see how it's displayed and the HTML. So you can see that the head um, has been broken up into two columns and they're bordered in green based upon the CSS that we just saw. So you can see the first column contains the uh, contains the uh, div, the CSS grid in the header, and then it contains the nav as the second child. The nav then is also um, a grid with one column. So the A tags that would normally print side by side in a in a in a flow kind of method now show down one at a time so and because of the border um, it goes all the way around the the grid element not the a tag so you can see there how we use the grid to create a nice header with a menu in it this concludes this brief introduction into the css grid this presentation is copyright 2020 by James Imrino, PhD. Uh, this work is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution, non-commercial share like 4.0 international license. And if you find any errors or have any questions, you can contact me at jim at and I'll be more than happy to respond. Thank you for watching.